hey guys, how do you like my suspenseful intro here? But honestly, I was just trying to show you a discovery that I found on these Hermes boxes that I'm going to unbox with you guys. And look at all the watermarks that they have secretly hidden in there. It's such a great way to fight counterfeit and it's super cool, isn't it? So today I wanted to bring a few other different perspectives and things that I've discovered that is very different than what other people have said about the bag. Hi guys, welcome back to today's video and this is probably a highly anticipated video if you do follow me on Instagram because you know that I took you guys shopping with me at the Hermes store in Beverly Hills and I am so excited today that I get to share this unboxing with you and this is probably my first official Hermes handbag from my personal collection. If you have watched videos before and saw me do Hermes Birkin reviews, those are the handbags that don't necessarily belong to me they belong to friends and they were generous enough to let me borrow to make videos for you guys so today I am super super excited because I have my own little orange box here to unbox with you guys so if you're a return viewer you know that there is going to be an Hermes giveaway that is coming up on the channel so stay tuned for that so originally this is going to be a part of my birthday shopping haul unboxing but I just couldn't wait anymore I really want to take her out and share it with you guys and I'm pretty sure you feel the same way so she being an exception I do have another unboxing haul coming up as you guys know that I'm slowly collecting things from the store so if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet I do ask you guys to help me with decision making and also if you want to get more updates on the giveaway make sure you follow my first luxury on Instagram as well and if you have not subscribed I would love it if you subscribe today because there is going to be a $1,000 Hermes giveaway Way coming your way. Without further talking, let's get into the unboxing of what's inside this orange box right now. Let's unbox this. I really wonder what you guys think is in there because it is a big box. And let's see if it's what you think it is. <laughs> I even had to get a bigger table to put this on to film for you guys. And it is laying down like that. There's a little pillow there. So let me take her out of the bag. So it is indeed a very, very special ur bag. And it is the size 31 or bag return with gold hardware and she is just so cute that's the reason why i am um, considered taking this bag because it is all black so it goes easily with outfits and it has very cute gold details instead of the traditional silver i just think it's going to be a very lightweight bag i do like top handles and I know there are a few pros and cons about this bag, but I will be sharing more of that when I start using it. But here's unboxing. What do you guys think? It's our set. So this is my so black, honestly, this is not called so black, but this is my black her bag or her bag in the size 31 with the retone stitching and also gold hardware. I know a lot of you are gonna say, yeah, it is something that really looks like a Kelly bag, but it costs like, you know, a friction of it. My thought on getting this particular one is because of color and the hardware. It is really hard to come by with something that is different than the most of the her bag choice. 
choices, which is the silver hardware, or I have seen a blue one with a enamel. So there was a blue canvas on the blue leather flap with the blue um, enamel button here. That one is also kind of rare. You know, people like to buy things that's a little bit different from the rest. When I was told that they have this one in stock, I didn't even take a look in person. So I had this put away for me before my appointment time. So I am very happy to unbox this today. I think to the Herbex defense, a lot of people are complaining about the stiffness and texture of these hunter leather on the bag and also the lock that is creating a little smile mark on the back of the bag. So today I kind of wanted to bring a few other different perspectives and things that I've discovered that is very different than what other people have said about the her bag. So first, you have noticed that I did place a lock over here and if you want to lock your bag up, which I think if you're traveling you definitely should put, you know, the leather tap through. and then you can lock it up, then the um, lock will end up being on this side of the bag, kind of locked up. On the back side where there is a little golden hook here is really the storage place, I believe, for the leather key holders. So this way you can avoid leaving scratches on this tab in case if you want to resell it the condition of the bag is one of the most important things so therefore if you store your key charm in the back or if you like to just wear this like on your Birkin or Kelly you can also hang it right here so if I were to hang it right here this is kind of what it looks like but I do like the clean look of just having the lock kind of over here and this piece can go to the back. I have discovered a more secure way to store your leather key holders, which is to tuck it in into the back pocket over here. Because if you leave it hanging, it does tend to hang longer than the bag, so I don't think it's practical that way, but if you don't mind, you can definitely leave it hanging. But this way, it definitely protects the leather from being scratched by the lock. And let's take a closer look at this lock and the key protector here. So it comes with a pair of keys for your lock and I believe these are the same locks that's used on Birkin or Kelly bag that needs to be locked. It's a really nice detail to be given on this price point as well. And this is the most satisfactory sound that I find. And a little bit more detail on the lock here. It has 163 and above it is probably the manufacturer that produced these locks and a pair of keys to match the locks and a leather pouch. All right, so this is pretty much the complete look of the her bag. They have an exposed zipper in the back. And you can see there's no feet on the bottom because the body of the bag is made of canvas. But once you put things in there, things should change. Through unboxing, I have discovered a lot of other things that can be done on the her bag that is really, really interesting. So I'm thinking to create a video that talks about how to convert this bag and what are the other ways to wear this bag in a different video. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section below because I do think for the value of this bag, which this is 2,600 US dollars plus tax. So I paid around $2,800 and it's a great entry bag for someone that is my height. When you're shopping, you should definitely look for things that suits your lifestyle. I do think it's one of the most important factors because if you were to buy something that is that is very popular but doesn't necessarily suit your lifestyle or looks good on you, then I don't think you're going to reach for it. For me, when I was trying this bag on, I really love how it sits on me when I wear the long shoulder strap. It kind of sits right next to my hip and I am about 5'6", which equivalents to 168 centimeter. So I think this is a really, really good size for me and I love that it is very lightweight. Like I said, there are a couple of other ways I have discovered to use this bag that could give you a very versatile look so if you're interested let me know in the comment section below so about features on the bag there is a shoulder strap that is very long and there is a double leather holder for your hand that is right up on top as well as to other features if you turn the bag around there is an exposed outer zipper compartment
and when you open it up it's pretty much one big compartment right here with a little canvas pouch that's included in here And obviously, you know, if you are on the go, I do think you should probably put something important inside this canvas pouch. But for the most part, I don't know if I'll be able to use this. But since it's in there, I think I'm going to utilize and use this for sure. And on the inside, there's currently nothing. So I do think if you get a her bag, it doesn't really matter if you get the Raton or the Cellier stitching because I do think this bag can be flipped inside out. So it's really, really easy to do so. And I am thinking to show you guys more details and other fun ways to wear this bag in the next video. A lot of people have complained about how stiff the leather flap is. I do think, you know, if you wanna make it a stylish way to wear it, you can just put the, the metal through and then it kind of stops the metal ring from coming out once you put things in there. And then you can just leave it and then it can just be a very effortless and chic bag. I just love this bag a lot. So yeah, you guys, I have just shared my very, very first Hermes handbag unboxing with you guys. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have embarked and started the journey of getting my ultimate handbag. And I have learned a lot along the way besides things I have already heard and asked friends about. So there will be a lot of information that I would love to share with you. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, click the red button. I will have a lot more details and tips and insights about Hermes and how to get their ultimate bag to share with you. Thank you so much again for watching today's video. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.